If you have the opportunity to ever see inside of a vehicle assembly plant, it is truly a marvel. It is basically miles long, depending on how the plant is laid out. So usually there's a, a whole area where we, what we call the body shop, where it starts with all the basic panels that build up the actual body. It goes through, whether it's in robots or human welded, an actual vehicle that you put all of the underbody together, build the front and the side apertures so that you've got something to hold the vehicle together and it's framed so it's one unit. Doors are sometimes put on or put off depending on the assembly process and it goes through a paint and baking baking area where it gets painted, dipped in a knee coating and co basically all the coatings to help prevent it from rusting. Uh, goes through paint and comes out into an area where we start to do what's called trimming it out. Oftentimes the word that we'll use is trim chassis final. So when it comes out, it's basically a shell. So if you've ever restored a vehicle or seen inside a car, when all the seats and all the carpets and headliners are not in there, it's basically the shell without anything in the engine compartment, nothing inside. It begins then it's tripped down what we call the trim lines of an assembly plant, where one by one an operator adds each of the components. So it's this well choreographed dance. Sometimes they're producing up to 60 or 70 vehicles an hour. So the operator is repeatedly doing the same activity for their particular station. And one by one, those parts slowly build the car. So whether you come down what we call like the first leg of trim where a number of the wiring harnesses are added, they'll then usually turn the corner and you'll start to see some of the trim panels go into place sometimes carpet at that stage, overhead systems. Meanwhile, the engine compartment is getting dressed in the front. We'll do actually a, a period where the engine transmission and the chassis of the vehicle, so all the wheels and, and undercarriage are married to it, and it's, it's married together and, and basically becomes one. As you go down the rest of the assembly lines, all the final trim out occurs, and they add all the fluids to the car, so all the fuels and all the, all the other necessary liquids. And in the final line, you begin what we call the certification stage, where they start to turn the car over for the first time. And if you have the opportunity to build what are called pilot vehicles, so vehicles that aren't intended for you and me to drive, but are designed for us to use internally within the company, the first time you chase one of those pilots down the assembly line, you cross your fingers and hope everything you did works, and you hear it turn over, it is an absolute thrill. So when the, to see it, hear it start, Instead of the guy saying, oh, sorry, we're going to have to shove it off the line. That's the phrase you don't want to hear. Um, and then what we'll do is as the vehicle get, comes off the assembly line, we'll take it through a number of certification processes to make sure it's meeting the standards we plan for. And if it's one we're planning to use for pilot and vehicle validation, we'll take that one home to our engineering facility and take it through a battery of tests.